Hi, I'm Kevin Hill, and today we're going to do another fun painting. So let's get started. We'll start off today with a two inch brush and a little bit of blue and black. And let's start right up here at the top and begin swirling in a little sky. Now today I want this sky very, very, very soft. And so I'm going to use just a tiny, tiny dusting of paint on that brush. Not much at all. Leave little white areas open. There. Just blend it all in. Next, I'll pull a one inch brush through some white and yellow. And you see these little areas we left open? I'm going to add a little bit of this color in there. I'm being careful here. I'm being careful not to mix it too much with the background color. That black is okay, but we also had blue in there. And blue and yellow makes green. So be aware of where you put this. I see a little more blue there. There's a little more blue up there. So I'm going to avoid those areas. With a clean two inch brush, we're going to come right in here and blend the sky. Now I'm just going to use the top corner of the brush. Don't want to use the whole thing, just that top corner. And spin it around in tiny, tiny circles. Don't overdo this. Don't want to blend it away too much. Just soften it. There. Let it melt right into that background. Very, very soft. We're going to have trees and things in front of this. And this is just going to make for a very, very soft glow in the background. With some black and a touch of green and brown, maybe some blue and a little bit of white on a fan brush. And then we're going to wipe the brush off on a paper towel so there's not much paint here. Let's go ahead and think about some evergreen trees back in here. I gave myself a line that just shows me where I want to start. And I'm just going to lightly, lightly tap because there's not much paint on this brush, we get very, very, very little texture. And we can see the grain of the canvas through there. That's so light, very, very light and pale. And that's perfect. This tree is far away. Have it extend right off the canvas like that. Now when you're done with those trees, then we can continue painting in our little evergreen trees. Still just tapping with the fan brush. Notice how I left a little bit of that sky showing through. All right, now down over here, I just loaded up the fan brush, with a little bit of black and green. And I'm just gonna brush in a background because there's gonna be a lot of different trees back in here and we're not gonna really want much detail. So there's just a a nice little muddled background for us to work with. Same on the other side. Little background. With the one inch brush and some black, brown, and green, we can come right over here and begin tapping. And we're just going to tap in some land. This is just the dark part. We're going to come back and add some highlights on it in just a second. With the fan brush and some green and yellow, we'll just mix up a, a nice little color like that. Not much paint on the brush. And I added in a couple of those little tree trunks in there. So with this yellow, we're going to begin creating some trees, some little evergreen trees that are they're a little closer than that one. We'll just do that by dropping on a little bit of highlight here and there, just to create the suggestion of trees. This is just background material. So we're not gonna spend too much time here, just enough to get the idea of trees back in here, quite a few. This is a little forest back in here. See that, the color doesn't even have to be too much different than the background color. With the one inch brush, we'll pick up some green, brown, a touch of blue. Now, before we get too far, 
let's go ahead and start thinking about our little river down here. I left an, an area open. I didn't paint it all in. I'm just dropping in some color because the water is reflecting all this greenery above it. A little blue, a little more blue right there. And then as we come up in the painting, as we go up in here, we're gonna see a little bit more blue. So we'll just drop it in like that. Little bit of blue. With just a little bit of blue and white on a fan brush. We can begin dropping in just a little indication of detail in here. Now the stream starts right about there. And we're just dropping in some highlight. Now I think, I think in our stream, we need a little waterfall, not very big, just a little something. With the two inch brush, some yellow and green, we can begin adding on just a little bit of highlight. Just tap that brush right on. Tap very, very lightly and let all these nice highlights just come right off the brush. There, soft, soft, grassy meadow back here. Very, very soft. Let it slope down toward the little river down there. Now, reload that brush. We need some on this side too. Just tap it in the same way. With some black on the knife, we can begin dropping in some rocks around here. Just tiny, tiny rocks in the background. And as we work forward, we'll make them a little larger and that will create perspective in our painting. A little bit more. Build that rock up a little bit higher. That's a big one right there. You can kind of work them in with the, the knife like that. There. And there's one, kind of holds that waterfall in. We'll kind of decide what all that is later. When we go to highlight, we can separate them. There's a little rock there. One right there. With just a little bit of brown and white on the knife, we can begin adding some highlights to these rocks. Very, very lightly. Just let that knife run right along. Leaving all that texture in the paint there. If you push too hard, then you won't get that. It'll just be one solid color and it won't look as good. Very, very little pressure here. Let that paint break. With the one inch brush, we'll just grab the bottom of these rocks and pull them down. This will create the indication of some reflection in the water. Just grab them and pull them straight down. And then lightly across. And that just blurs them and kind of sets them in toward the water, makes them fit. With the knife and a little bit of black and brown, we can come, let's do it right here. Let's drop in a little tree right there. And it, it stops right, right about there. Now this tree is closer than the other trees. So we're gonna put some more extra detail on him. In fact, while we're blocking in trees, let's, let's block in another, another big one. Maybe it kind of comes off the canvas and, and down, something like that. We can decide later all the details about that one. We'll just block it in for now. A little more paint this side. Let's do a big, big tree. This one will be the, the big focal tree. The one we look at as soon as we see this painting. Your eye will just run right to this tree. 
Yeah, it's a big, big tree. With some brown and white and just a little bit of yellow on the knife, we can begin dropping on some highlight to this big tree. Just touch and let that knife bounce right along, creating these nice little ridges of bark, this bark texture, just like that. Very, very simple. Just tap that knife vertically right along that tree trunk. I like that little bit of yellow in there. Just gives it a, a sunlight effect. Next, we'll tap a one inch brush through a little bit of brown. And let's go ahead and start dropping on some leaves to these trees. Now, of course, this is just the dark part only. We're gonna come back and add some bright highlights on top. For now, we're just dropping in the dark. Not a big deal. I know, let's have, let's have some of the leaves extend out right over that light. A little bit more. Yeah, look at that. Just gives a little more interest to the painting. With a nice light orange color on the one inch brush, we can begin dropping in some highlights. Now I think we're gonna come back and do another set of highlights. So this is just the first highlight. And we don't wanna cover up all our dark. Leave most of your dark, because if you cover up all your dark, you're gonna have a flat tree. And I don't want a flat tree in my painting today. I want a tree with a lot of depth and dimension. You can see all these little limbs, their shadow and highlight. And you need both of those in the tree to make it look real, to make it look three-dimensional. With the one inch brush and some yellow and white, we can go ahead and drop on these very, very bright highlights, the extra highlights. These will really make your tree pop out but we don't want to overdo this. We just need a few. If you add too many, then it won't be effective. So only, only add a few here and there. Just, just enough to sparkle the tree a little bit. With the liner brush, we can add in some little blades of grass down here in the foreground. And this really just helps to finish out the painting. It makes it look detailed. Just add a few. All right, well, I think we're done. I had a lot of fun. I hope you did too. Don't forget to check out my website and also my instructional DVD for sale. And thanks for watching.